You just hear that this is what Jesus Christ wants to give you life. He wants to give you life. He wants to give you freedom. He doesn't want to live. He wants you to live. He doesn't want you just to exist. And like I said, I am just existing. And that's painful. That's painful. There's not love at the bottom of a grass. There's not love at the end of a blood. And that's because of experience. I'm looking for love and other people, people that love me, people that hurt me. But you know what, Mother God? That's why I love you, Mother God. Yeah. 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 Looking for love at the end of the world. Looking for love at the end of the world. Looking for love in other people. I was hurting. And I know a lot of you are hurting. You're walking around with smiles on your face. You're walking around like all of your friends. Because that was me. I was hurting. I was lost in my sin. But you know who set me free? When I finally decided to surrender, not to say, God, please forgive me for what I did and go back to what I was doing. Repenting is turning away from your own way and surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. And that's what I did. I finally decided. I took so much back running from the love of Jesus Christ because He was chasing after me. He's chasing after all of you. But again, you have the choice to decide. You are going to follow Jesus Christ or you are going to stay in the world. You have a choice. God is a father that gives you choice. Just like many of you may have children, you give them choice. And though they may do things that hurt you, you allow them to make those choices because at the end of the day, they're their own person. And we're for all people, but you can either be a child of the Most High God, or you can still choose to be a child of the devil. And most people think they're shackled when you come into Christianity, but now in Jesus Christ you have freedom. You're shackled to something, you're shackled to that one, you're shackled to that person, you're shackled to that person, because all you want to do is stay in bed with them. You know it's right to leave, but you want to stay in bed with them because you know nothing else. You don't know what it means to be by yourself. And when you can get by yourself, you have to sit with those thoughts and realize, oh, I don't know, I don't have to have cleansed up as I thought I did. You have to sit with yourself and realize that you need help. It's okay to say that you need help. Because I said I need help, and I still need help from the people that are sitting on the throne, helping me, interceding for me. Right now, the Holy Spirit is within me, which I don't know is, I don't like talking in front of people. I hate talking in front of people. But because I love all of you, I want to tell you about Jesus Christ that loves me and loves all of you. And people often think, God loves me so I can say what I'm doing. Yeah, God loves you, but the same God that created you is also judge. He's also king. And don't think that you will not destroy what is not against him. What is against him, he will destroy. So, that same God that loves you and created you will also destroy you if you choose not to follow him. And I had to realize that. That your God loves me, and yet he gives me choice. I have to surrender to the one that created me. He can go fearfully and wonderfully made. The world says that you can be who you want to be. You can be a boy or a girl. You can be a girl or a girl. But the world says that I have to raise you for my glory, for his glory, and that you are already fearfully and wonderfully made.
You are a very fearful and wonderful place. No matter what the world says, no matter what the children 